I've always preferred working from home because it's usually when I'm most productive. And a lot of it has to do with having more screen space. This holds true for my laptop choices as well. I normally gravitate to the ones with bigger screen sizes, but that usually means I'm lugging around something incredibly heavy, and that's not good for my back or my shoulders. Thankfully, 2024 is a whole different era and there are laptops of all shapes and sizes. And the solution to more screen space well, it comes in the form of something like this, a dual display laptop. And this one in particular is the Lenovo YogaBook 9i. A bit much? Maybe. In fact, whenever I bust this out, I'm almost always greeted with a question. What do you even do with something like this? What do you even do with a dual display laptop? Well, today we're going to find out. Let's start by unboxing the Lenovo YogaBook 9i. As a premium laptop, it comes with a couple of accessories so you can make the best of it right out of the box. What you're getting is the Lenovo Base Pen 4.0, a Bluetooth keyboard, a Bluetooth mouse, and an origami folio stand that doubles as a keyboard case. And I absolutely love how these accessories match the laptop's gorgeous tidal teal color. Now for some specs. At the heart of the YogaBook 9i is the Intel Evo Edition Core Ultra 7 processor, complemented by Intel Iris Xe graphics. One of the things worth noting is that this processor is AI-ready, but we'll get to that later on in the video. Moving forward, this dual-display laptop ships with 32GB of RAM and boasts a generous 1TB SSD. The laptop features a full HD Windows Hello Ready camera with an e-privacy shutter and dual microphone. Audio is another highlight with a rotating Bowers & Wilkins soundbar, which we've seen on other Yoga laptops before. Now on to the stars of the show. We have two 13.3-inch 2.8K OLED touch displays. Each screen offers a 100% DCI-P3 color gamut, HDR True Black 500, and Dolby Vision. We also have a 16 is to 10 aspect ratio and the display offers 400 nits of brightness. Weighing in at just 1.34 kilograms, the YogaBook 9i is incredibly lightweight for its form factor and its 360-degree rotating hinge adds versatility, allowing you to use it in all sorts of ways. For connectivity, it includes Wi-Fi 6E, Bluetooth 5.3, and three USB Type-C Thunderbolt ports. Finally, we have that 80-watt-hour battery that's designed to keep up with your demands. With both displays active, you do get about 6 to 9 hours of battery life, but in using just one, I was able to achieve around 11 hours. Now that we've gone over the specs, let's get into how to use this dual display setup. If you are new to this kind of form factor, no worries really. It's pretty easy to get a hang of and it's really fun to see all the functions work the first time around. Lenovo's User Center is a great first stop to guide you through everything the YogaBook 9i can do. It has all the resources and settings you need to learn all about using two displays, but let me show you as well. Most obviously, you can extend your workspace by having different apps open on each display. Whether you're multitasking between emails and documents or enjoying a video while browsing, that extra screen real estate makes everything easier. And when you pair it with the included Bluetooth keyboard, you're getting maximum screen space, which I don't need to tell you, is a dream for multitaskers like me with a million things to do all at once. Now, instead of attaching a kickstand to the device, the YogaBook 9i comes with an origami folio that can prop up the laptop. It also doubles as a keyboard case. You can complete the desktop-like setup by connecting the included mouse, but I found navigating with the touch displays were just as easy and a lot more fun. You can navigate almost everything using just the touch screens. You can, for example, transfer a window from one display to another simply by dragging or even flicking it. There are positioning options available, but you're free to customize as your work requires. You can even maximize the full display for one window just by tapping five fingers, just like that. Look at all that space. If portability is your priority, you can go keyboard-free using the lower display as a virtual touch keyboard. A quick 8 finger tap brings it up, and the haptic feedback does help typing feel a tad bit more natural. Though for longer sessions, I really do recommend the physical keyboard. You can use it as it is, but when you place it on the top part, the display will trigger a virtual trackpad to appear just below. <music> 
Now move it to the lower half and you'll see the upper part turn into a widget bar for quick access to notifications and other tools. Lenovo also included this Base Pen 4.0 and a new Smart Note app. This app in particular is designed for Lenovo, so it's got a couple of nifty features. You can, for example, set it so your handwriting turns into text, and you can even launch it by swiping the pen from the corner. There's also a fun little feature that allows you to take notes even when the laptop is locked. Of course, one of its best uses, being a yoga laptop, is that 360-degree hinge, meaning you can flip it into tablet mode and use the pen for sketching or note-taking on the go. So back to the original question, what can you use a dual-display laptop for? In the shortest answer possible, to get more work done wherever you may be. Whether working in or out of the house, I can confidently say that having two displays on a laptop offers a lot of benefits. One of the more common questions that I get about dual display laptops is about its weight. I mean, we do have two full-size touch displays here after all. But surprisingly, it's not that heavy and I really have to commend Lenovo on the construction of the Yogabook 9i. There was even a time that I thought I forgot it at the cafe because I thought there was nothing in my bag when really, it was safe and sound. What I basically want to say is that it's light enough for you to not have a reason to leave it at home. Now, using two displays, especially in public, can feel a bit daunting. Personally, I prefer the ported orientation as this book type mode is much less conspicuous but still provides you with all that screen space. I find this kind of setup eliminates the need to switch between tabs and windows and therefore lessens the distractions. While writing this script, for example, I had all my references, documents, and videos open on one display while the other display had my word processor and a co-pilot on standby. Setting up different desktop screens also allows me to work more efficiently by changing my focus from writing, for example, to editing photos in no time. In my time with it, the Intel Core Ultra processor has proven to handle daily tasks effortlessly. So let's give it something harder to work on. As mentioned, one of the benefits of this processor is that it can handle AI processing. As a creative professional, this comes very handy for features like Photoshop's generative fill or neural filters. It even handles stable diffusion on Blender quite well, making it suitable for light 3D or architectural work. Needless to say though, in editing photos or videos, that extra screen space is invaluable, especially when I'm working out of the studio. To say that the workflow is comfortable is a definite understatement and thankfully, the two displays have worked without a hitch during these times. It's not built for heavy content creation tasks or anything similar like that, so do keep your expectations in check when it comes to performance. But with this portable and unique of a form factor, there will be some room for improvement. First on my wish list, and this isn't really too surprising, I wish it had more ports or rather, I wish it had a variety of ports instead of those three USB type C ports. Though I totally understand this could have been done for the sake of portability so that the body remains thin and lightweight. You could always live that dongle life or bring a hub if you need those extra ports, but that is just one more thing to bring. And that does lead me to my second point. There are a lot of moving parts. It's not really a grab and go kind of device. You have a lot of things to pack. There's the keyboard, there's the mouse, there's the folder and even the pen. Now thankfully you don't need all of this for the laptop to work and you just have to bring the essentials. For me, I think it will probably be the pen and the folio since I think I can live without the keyboard and mouse. And finally, the last con or the last thing that could be improved with the Yogabook 9i would be that price to performance ratio. In this segment, it's a rather pricey segment. There are a lot of more powerful laptops but the difference is they only have one screen and the Yogabook 9i has two. So you really have to determine your priorities. Is it performance or is it screen space? A laptop with two displays may seem like overkill, but in this day and age where we're doing one thing after another or even on top of each other, the additional screen space is very welcome and helps get things done. As a major multitasker myself, I love having all this screen space in such a portable and, lest we forget, very impressive form factor. And the Lenovo Yogabook 9i in particular, being pretty much an expert in flexible laptops, offers a double display experience that's really quite seamless and easy to adapt to. 
It can't be denied that this is a big investment and there will be a lot of work involved into researching whether this kind of laptop is for you. But if you're after productivity, increased productivity, portability, and more screen space, then that's something that the Lenovo Yoga Book 9i can definitely deliver.